Well, we knew that there was something wrong. I wasn't as fast as other kids. We just didn't know exactly what it was. But I did have to have a muscle biopsy done when I was seven. That's what helped diagnose me. My name is Caleb Sizemore, and I'm a 20-year-old patient with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD for short. Most people stop walking when they're 12 and don't live past their 20s, but I'm still walking, and that's a miracle. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a muscle disease that results in a progressive loss of muscle functioning over time. I used to be able to like run. I don't really run much anymore. I can if I have to. Going upstairs, I have to put two feet on each step and then go up, and I can't get up from the floor without furniture. With DMD, the progressive loss of muscle functioning includes your heart and lungs, which is usually what kills you. I go to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital at the clinic there. It's like the best clinic in the U.S for muscular dystrophy, if not the world. They found out a few years ago I had some heart scarring, and they said there's part of a clinical trial that you can be involved with, and they explained everything. I am a patient in the Capricor Hope trial, and I received a non-embryonic stem cell infusion in my heart in February 2016. I actually was able to feel, like after the procedure, my heart beating more than before. And the doctors said that, that when it was beating more, it could be a good sign because it would mean it's pumping more. In August 2016, they found out that it had reversed some of the damage. And in April 2017, it reversed for others in the trial, which is an amazing miracle. It is definitely very important for people to fund stem cell research because because uh, it's about prolonging people's lives and making them better. Me and my family have been praying for years that more successful treatments would be implemented for reducing muscular dystrophy. And because of your funding, those prayers have been answered. So I used to hide the fact that I had a muscle disease. And eventually I was encouraged by my dad to tell my whole high school class about my disease for a fundraiser. When I told them, I was overwhelmingly accepted and supported, and that was absolutely amazing. And it's like my disease developed me into who I am because I wouldn't be able to be a part of this trial that will help others. I didn't have Yushima through dystrophy.